Welcome to anyone that's out there. It's Dawn with Shall We Stamp. I'm a few minutes early. Take a minute and identify that you are here and where you're from so I can see who all we have on the live event with us this evening. I am trying something new. Do you like my little graphic? Hopefully you can see that. I've got my camera adjusted so it's higher. I'm gonna. I'm using a uh, microphone, so hopefully that helps with the sound. When I was re, when I was editing the video, it sounded like it was coming in and out. So we're gonna try and see how that goes. And um, I think I'm going to uh, stand and do my cards. It's a little bit easier if I stand up. I think. So we'll see how it goes. If not, then I'll sit down and readjust the cameras. <laughs> So, anyways, um, so just uh, pop on, say hi, let me know that you're there, and um, I will make an announcement. I forgot last week to announce whose name was drawn through the comment picker, so I will do that this evening, as well as the week before. That's the one I forgot to do. So... Hopefully we don't lose our internet this evening like we did last week. That was not good. I did repost the video with the at, uh, end added in. <laughs> so let me see if we've got any refresh some comments there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And let's get rid of that. I'm going to stand up so you all can see me. I'll try standing for a little while and then I may end up sitting down. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, but Welcome. It is, um, oh, I just made my, I made my steps. My phone, my little phone's buzzing. Hi, Debbie. Only, I know you can see, the, I know you can see the top of my head. I did that on purpose. Oh, Mary, I'm glad you're here because I was just, um, I'm going to announce, but you, uh, your name was drawn from last week's comments. So if you'll, um, message me your, uh, mailing address and then I will put something in the mail to you. And then I also um, will announce so that whoever's popping on, Nancy Jones' uh, name was drawn for the 14th, and I forgot to announce that last week, so that's my fault. But welcome, you all. I hope everyone's staying busy. Um, did you all happen to see the new um, digital stamp set that Stampin' Up! is offering that we can download for $12, and all of the proceeds are going to uh, two organizations to help with the COVID-19 and if you haven't, oh my goodness, um, if you go to my page, if you go to my Shall We Stamp page, you may have already seen it since you're there. Um, I posted pictures that my upline had made um, earlier today when she got her, when she downloaded her uh, purchase. And she made a bunch of cards. So, and it's the cute sayings that we've all been saying about this COVID, you know, this whole pandemic thing. It's got the toilet paper. It's got the quarantini. Um, it has, you know, love your face, all sorts of different things. So if you get an opportunity, um, take a look at that. If you haven't already, it's $12 and the money, all of the proceeds go to um, those two organizations. And I honestly, um, I don't remember who they are and that's terrible to say, but um, so it's, it's, and it's, it's 15 pages, 15 pages of different, they have them in black and white, and then they have them in different colors. So you can stamp it, uh, print it on cardstock, and then you can cut it out or just cut it to whatever, you know, size that you want for your card. So I think that's pretty awesome. So anyways, I'm going to hopefully let's uh, refresh and get some, excuse me, I'm going to, let's see here. Let me refresh. Um, the comments here and see if we can get some more in. Oh, great. You already printed it. Perfect. I know. Aren't they great? I love them. Hey, Rosalie. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Um, and for $12, my goodness, you can use some of that stuff. You know, you can kind of cut and paste and use those stamps for other things. So um, I think that's pretty awesome that they, that they did that. So um, I'm excited about that. Um, today I spent the majority of the afternoon getting uh, one of my online classes that I had this month. I've got everything cut and prepared and ready to put in the envelopes to mail out. I just have a few um, last items to put in there and that will go out in the mail tomorrow. And then I do have a new online class that I'm gonna um, put out um, on Monday the 4th. So stay tuned for that. Um, if y'all aren't on my mailing list, please uh, go to my 
blog at shallwestamp.com. If you see my hand, it's because I'm trying to refresh the, uh, the um, comments. Um, go to my blog at shallwestamp.com and join my mailing list. You'll get a free one sheet wonder template for signing up. And uh, we did one last week. What did y'all think about that um, one sheet wonder that we did last week? Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you'd like to see more of those, um, I have, I found two more that are I've not seen before. Not that that says anything, but two more that I think will be re really fun to do. And it's a great way to make a lot of cards. So we'll just throw that out there. All right, it's 7.03. We'll wait. Let's wait about 30 more seconds for... A few more people to pop on. If not, then I guess they will just um, have to watch the uh, whatever they come on, and then they'll watch the replay. We're going to make two cards today. We're going to do, um, you may have seen this. This, you know, I, I go scrolling through Pinterest and looking at what some of the other demonstrators come up with. And um, I found this design, and I think this was by Lisa Curcio, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it's a fun fold and a gift card all in one. So we're going to do a Mother's Day card. And you know what? I just forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. Oh, well. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to do a Mother's Day card. But you can always change the sentiment out. It doesn't have to be, you know, Mother's Day if you if you choose to change it. Um, and then the other one's going to be a birthday card. So I've done two. It's the same design, but I've done two. And... Um, We'll go with that and see what happens. And um, how have you all seen, I'm assuming that you have the retiring list from the uh, catalog that we currently have. And just one thing, um, and I'm sure y'all are seeing this if you're, if you're looking at other people's um, Facebook pages, is that, um, hi Karen, welcome. I'm Dawn with Shall We Stamp and I'm located in the Villages, Florida. So today was in the 80s, tomorrow we're gonna hit 90, so. <laughs> Um, it's a little hot, but anyways, um, the retired list that they put out uh, was a little confusing because it showed that a lot of things were retiring when they're really not. They're just repackaging them. So, for instance, it listed all of our stamp and blends. They're not retiring, with the exception of maybe some of the in color, like lovely lipstick. I'm not sure if that's staying or not. But like the um, stamp and mist. That's just being reconfigured, and um, instead of having the refill bottle and the full bottle, they're going to come out with just a full bottle. And um, some of the bundles, because it's a bundle, they show it being retired, but it's some of them aren't really retiring. They're just separating them, so you can still purchase the stamp and you can still purchase the dies, but you just don't get that discount. So. Um, if you're on my newsletter uh, mailing list, I did put an updated, um, actually I can probably, I'll upload it to my site. Um, I'll do that this evening when we get done. It's a cleaned up version. It's taken out all the French stamps, um, stamp sets, which don't take this the wrong way, but we don't need all that. And it's taken out all the duplications and everything. So I think, and we made the print a little bit bigger. So that might be helpful. I'll put that on my um, blog once we get off the uh, off Facebook and from doing this uh, video. So, hi Lynn, how you doing? Welcome everyone. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as I mentioned, I am using a an additional mic. I found when I was um, redoing the video from last week, the sound was kind of going in and out. So I'm using an attached mic, which you can see on my chest, and the video. Uh, that video, I had added the end that was apparently when we went frozen, um, it froze. So I went ahead and added the end just by showing the uh, the cards that I had made, and that will be reposted. I'll post it tomorrow. I was having a problem with my blog, um, blog with TypePad and uh, waiting for the technician people to get back with me. So anyways, oh my God, 101 in Arizona. Holy moly. Welcome. Well, yours at least is dry. It's not humid like ours um, here in Florida. But anyways, okay, let's go ahead and get started because I don't want to hold everybody up. Um, today we are going to make two fun fold gift cards, and I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera down in just a second. Uh, let me get my stuff because I'm going to do things a little backwards here. We are going to start with a Mother's Day card, and then, as I mentioned earlier, then we're going to make a, a birthday card. So we're going to do the design twice, but we're going to do two different stamp sets and uh, two different uh, types of paper. So let me go ahead, excuse my fingers. I'm going to go ahead and flip over the camera to the table. There we go. Now, this is the card that we're going to be making. And if you recognize this uh, paper, this is from the Valentines. So hearts aren't only just for Valentines, right? Um, 
These are the little heart um, lace hearts, and they are still available to my knowledge in the catalog. And they come in a package. I just had the daggone thing out here. I don't know what I did with it now, but anyways, you know, you know me. For the new people, you know sometimes we get a little scatterbrained here. Um, but anyways, uh, so I put the lace heart on here, and then I punched this out with the um, pre-label punch. And then you, and this is a real red, and then flirty flamingo. And then you open it up like that. And then I just put thoughtful, kind, generous. That's you. And I put Happy Mother's Day. And this is where you will put your gift card. And let me show you. Where is my? I have a credit card somewhere. Now I can't find that either. Good lord. Anyways, um, I'll find it before we end so you can see. But the gift card will go right into here. It slides right in here. Fits perfectly. So it can be, you know, you can, and the next one we're going to make is going to be a birthday card. All right, so this is the one that we're going to make. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to duplicate it. So let me pull out my supplies. I'm going to set this off to the side for just a minute. Now I am standing, so if it gets a little cumbersome for me, then um, we'll probably, um, I'll probably sit down. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're going to use uh, Flirty Flamingo in Real Red inks. And then we're using, for the uh, sentiment on the front, we're using from part of my story, um, here's those who inspire us and don't even know it. So we're going to use that. And then on the inside, we are using um, the thoughtful, the, the well said. If y'all don't have, I know it's a little pricey, but if y'all don't have this stamp set, there are 51 stamps. It's a two case, if you can see that. Let me move over this way. 51 stamps, and it, it hits almost every occasion. So we've got the um, Mother's Day, and then we've got Happy, which we're using. And then on this in this uh, case, we're using Thoughtful, Kind, Generous, That's You. So those are the stamps that we're going to be using on this particular card. So I'm going to set those off to the side. So we've got our little lacy die and all my paper cut for um, what I need to do. And I'll give you the measurements. And I'll also post those, but I'll give them to you in just a minute as we start moving forward. I did cut everything. I like to pre-cut it because I don't want to hold y'all um, up watching me cut. But we're going to start with, let me open my uh, arm on my trimmer. Okay, so you're going to start out, and this is a piece of Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to start out with um, the base at, oh, let's see. Let me get over here first. All right, so we have a base of, I've already cut this one. This is real red, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half, all right? So that's our normal, you know, card base. It's just going to be the base. And then you want a piece of designer series paper or your pattern paper. And this is um, layered at four by five and a quarter. So if you're just starting out in stamping, the layers typically go down by a quarter inch, or you could do an eighth, but typically we do a quarter inch just so that you can see the cardstock that's below it. Okay, so this is cut down to four by five and a quarter. We'll glue those in just a moment. And then you're going to need a, another piece of cards, um, card stock that's going to be layered th um, three and a half by four and a half. Okay, so it's four and a half by three and a half. And then the next one you will have for the pocket a piece of designer paper, which is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay. And then the next thing that we need to make our opening mechanism, we're going to use a piece of flirty flamingo, and this is going to be cut at four and a quarter, which I think it already is, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is already at four and a quarter. Yeah, but we're going to cut it down to nine and three quarters. Okay, so let me get to my nine mark. So we're going to cut it down to nine and three quarters, and you may not be able to see this. Um, let me get to my nine and three quarters mark in the camera. Yep, you can. So we're going to go ahead and cut that down. All right, now we're going to get rid of that. We don't need this piece here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to score this. <clears throat> pardon me. And we want to score it at three and a quarter. Let me move my inks out of the way. All right, we're going to score this at three and a quarter. So I'm going to come over here to three and a quarter. And we're going to score, right? And then we're going to move it over to six and a half. So we're going to move over to six and a half, which should be right about there. And then that's going to kind of make a Z or a W, however you want to look at it, okay? I don't know if you can see the score lines, but we'll fold those in just a minute. All right, so let me move the paper trimmer out of the way because I think that's all we need with that for now. 
All right, so let's bring in our pieces that we need. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this, and you're just gonna fold it um, like a zigzag, and always make sure that your sides are lined up, because sometimes when we score it, it might not always come out quite straight. So I'll just go ahead and burnish, and then I'm gonna fold it back this way, and then we're gonna burnish that as well, okay? All right, so the next thing that, so now we're just really gonna put it together. So we're gonna add our, excuse me, I've got my paper here and it's moving around. I'm gonna use my favorite green glue, which y'all know I don't particularly like it, but I do like it, but I don't. It's a love-hate relationship. All right, so we're gonna use this, and thank goodness this is staying. This is not going away. And the snail is retiring, but they're coming out with a, another type of product, which is gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be a lot better. So that's exciting. They're coming out with a couple of new adhesives. So just to give you a little um, little sneak of that. I haven't gotten, you know, we don't, we can't order anything yet, so. All right, so we're just gonna layer that right on there, make it look nice and pretty. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer this on here, right? So we wanna layer that. And then, but before we do that, we wanna attach this piece here, right? We wanna attach it so it opens here. So we're gonna attach it on the real red like that, right? So it opens, but we're not gonna, we don't wanna attach this just yet, but we will attach it to the red because we wanna add our, so I'm gonna flip this over, cause, right? Because we want it to open like that. So I'm gonna take this piece and flip it over and just add my adhesive. That way it's on there and I'll go ahead and attach this and then, um, then we'll be able to build up our card. So let me go ahead and flip it back over. You see, I'm gently doing it because I don't want to get my fingers all inky. Or not inky, but goo uh, gooey. All right, so we're gonna lay that on there and it should have a little bit of a border, not much on the sides, okay? All right, so that's gonna be our part there. Now I'm not gonna attach it yet because we need to um, put our, you can see I've got it a little bit off there, but you know what, I can pull this up because I'm using that wonderful green glue and I should be able to move it, hang on one second, and try to get it on there where it's gonna show me enough of a border. Give me a second, let's do this again here. My head might get in the camera, so bear with me. Yeah, let's see if we got that right. Nope, it's a little bit, hang on. Hold on, we have to get it right. I'm not really a perfectionist per se, but I do want to have it at least where it looks like it's even. All right, these sides are gonna be lined up. Hang on a second. Let's get that little guy right there. Now that I got glue on it, it doesn't wanna get, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We will attach, this is gonna be our pocket, right? So all we wanna do is put glue on the bottom edge just a little, and then right up lightly on the sides because we want to be able to make sure that our card can go in and we'll, we'll attach this to the inside. So we can go ahead and do that and we'll leave a little bit of a border there. So our flirty flamingo will show. And if anything is, you know, when you put it on here, if anything's taken over on the sides, we can trim that up. So that's not a big deal. All right, then you're gonna also need two pieces of Whisper White and they're gonna be at three inches by four inches, so three by four, okay? All right, so the first one that we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and do the, the um, put our heart on here. Now you can, if you're using a different color, you know, you can always flip this over and use the back side because these really look nice. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue this down, again, using my favorite glue. So we're just gonna put a little glue there and I'm just gonna kind of dab it along the edges here. I'll just run it real light. Because if you get heavy handed, this stuff comes out, it can come out pretty fast. All right, so we're gonna put that right in the center of our card. Place that right there. All right, and got that there. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to pull in a scrap of white paper and we're gonna get our flirty flamingo, and we're gonna go ahead and, <clears throat> pardon me, get our stamp, if I can figure out what I did with them. Hang on a minute, I know they're here because I've laid them up. Oh, here they are, hiding in the side. They're hiding next to my other project. All right, so we're gonna use the, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it, so we're gonna just stamp that down and we're gonna use the label punch and cut that out. So let me close this up. We're not gonna use that anymore. 
And then this is the pretty label punch. And you know what? I didn't even check to see if this is still um, an active punch or not. Um, sorry about that. I should have checked. But anyways, it was the first one I grabbed. So we're going to go ahead and make sure I think that looks straight. So we'll go ahead and pop that out. And we'll move our scrap paper off to the side. And then the next thing we're going to do, I think I gave you all the measurements. So let me, um, and I'll read, I can do that when we do the next card too, in case you want me to repeat myself. All right, so now this one, all we're going to do, again, is attach that to the front. And I'm just going to flat, I'm not going to put um, any dimensionals on it because I think with the card being folded, it might be a little bit bulky. So we'll just, um, let me move that out of the way. We'll just uh, leave it so it's flat. So let me pull this up, get my fingers on it. And then we're going we're gonna to just lay that right there and try to get it centered in the heart. Such an easy card. All right, and then let's see, that's the front of our card. Now we'll add some, I didn't bring my pick tool, it's over on my desk, but we'll use our scissors. I'm gonna add some of these red rhinestones, little tiny, um, cute little red rhinestones. So we will just put one there, just get a little bling to it, make it look pretty. Did I, I left the glue on that one, so hang on, there we go. All right, so there's that. And again, you know, I did this one for Mother's Day, but you can always change that sentiment, sentiment up too if you wanted. So that's that card. And then the next one on the inside is where we're going to stamp the uh, next two sentiments. And I'll tell you what I did. If it, Hopefully I, I can do it on this one and not get it um, boogered up. So we're going to use the real red ink. Let me pull off my two stamps that we're going to use for the Mother's Day. On the card that I showed you initially, you saw that I had a banner there, right? Well, my Happy Mother's Day was not even. So I cut out a banner and covered it up so it came out looking straight. So we're just gonna put this here, thoughts, kind, generous, that's you. So we're gonna leave that like that. And let me clean this off and change my sentiments. Now this is gonna be the fun part. Let's see if we can get this straight. We'll see. All right, so now we're gonna do happy. And you know what, if it's not all the way straight, I'm not gonna worry about it. Because I always take the attitude that, let me uh, zoom in a little bit. I just take the attitude that people are going to appreciate what we have, what we give to them and send. So I don't think they're too too worried about it. So we're going to put right here, happy. And of course, the happy is bigger than the Mother's Day. So let's clean that off real quick. And then let's um, get our Mother's Day. And this one I have to make sure, because sometimes, you know, when you put the labels on them, we get them crooked, which I do sometimes. So I want to make sure I've got it straight. So let's see how we do here. And I'm going to pull this down. Hopefully y'all can still see this. Happy. Keep our fingers crossed. Mother's Day. Ah, not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll go with that one. All right. So we're going to close this up. See, I'm pretty flexible when it comes to stuff like this. All right. So let's go ahead and attach these. So I'm going to use my liquid glue again. And we'll just stick some on here. I really do like this stuff because it really does. I notice when I do a lot of cards and I use my snail, I go through so much snail. I mean, I have to keep 15 to 20 uh, things of snail on hand because, well, when I was teaching in-person classes, but even just for myself, um, making cards and stuff. And that is a little crooked, but you know what? I'm not worried about it. I am not going to worry about that. So let's put some glue on this one. I know I have some ladies that were in my face-to-face -face classes. Some of them were kind of um, very, um, wanted everything to be perfect. And it took me quite a while to let them know that perfection doesn't work in stamping all the time. You'll drive yourself nuts, you know? All right, so we're going to put that right on there. And we're just going to kind of let it sit for a minute and let it hold. All right, we're going to close this up. And now I'm going to attach that to the front. So again... I could use my snail, but I'm going to use my favorite green glue again. I know y'all are going to get tired of listening to me talk about that green glue, aren't you? Okay, we'll just put some little zigzags on it. And I'm going to find my, um, the, I'm going to have to go get, I've got a card for the, I think it's the dog play, so I'll go get that so you can see how it goes in here. All right, so we're going to set that right there. All right, so let me go get my, I'm going to unplug myself. I'll be back in just a second. Let me go find my, let me see if it's up here. All right, let me go get the other uh, gift card. All 
All right, we're going to be using Petco. I don't know where that came from, but apparently I, I got it from somewhere. <laughs> so, not that we want to send this to Petco. But see, you slide your card right on in there. Look at that. So that's, you know, it makes, not only you get a nice card, but you get a gift card all in one. Isn't that pretty? So what do y'all think about that? Very simple. Very simple and very, um, looks really nice. I think it's a nice looking card. All right, so we're done with that. Now let's move on to the birthday card that we're going to make. Now we're using the same design. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way that we don't need. Hang on one second. Give me a minute. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, let me just put my stamps on here and get them out of the way from the next set. We'll just put those over here. And leave me some comments if you were here last week and let me know what you thought about our um, one sheet wonder that we did. I found, I was mentioning earlier, I found a couple of more, so I think it'd be fun to do um, maybe another one sheet wonder. I have some that we can do like with a six by six uh, paper, so that'd be fun. All right, so here's what we're gonna do with the, um, for a birthday. And this says, you're never too old to make a wish. And then I put happy birthday and then use the paper with the candles. And again, you put your gift card right in there. Isn't that cute? So this is using, and I'm not sure if, I think this is retiring. I'm not sure actually. But this is the uh, Broadway birthday set that's still in the catalog. And these are the dies that go with it. So it's got uh, hooray and then you can stamp the dots um, behind it to give it a different, you know, like if you use a lighter ink. So this I thought was pretty neat. Now I went ahead and, and cut out the wish because I didn't, obviously didn't want to have to take the time to um, bring the big shot in. So that's what we've done. So let me get my papers for that. And hang on one second. I've got them sitting. Oh, just found the hearts. <laughs> they are buried up here. Oh, I almost lost my eye. Hang on. Let me get my stuff here. Um, <clears throat> I have my little dot to cover my eye. There we go. I think that's everything. Anyways, the hearts on the heart one are called the heart doilies. And I think there's, um, oh, there's 40 in a package. And that's a great price. And this is in the mini catalog. So this is, um, these are still available through the end of May. Don't ask me how much they are. I'm not sure. Okay. So this particular card, we are going to work with um, Bermuda Bay. And then this is Mango Melody which I don't use too much, but I really like the way it goes together. I love Bermuda Bay. Coastal Cabana are my favorite colors. Um, tra um, shoot, the Pretty Peacock, that's one of my favorite colors as well. So this is what we're going to do, the same exact card. So I'll give you the measurements one more, one more time for those that may have just joined us. Um, okay, so we're going to have our main card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is Bermuda Bay. And then we're going to take another piece of cardstock, and that's going to be for the um, second layer. And this is three and a half by four and a half. Okay. And then our DSP, our designer paper. And this is going to be uh, four by five and a quarter. And then for our pocket, this is going to be two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I wish when I cut it, I didn't realize this, but I wish I would have cut this lower and brought more down here so that I'd have the candles at the top, but anyways. All right, and that's gonna go like that for our pocket. And it will have, um, and then we'll have again our two white pieces, which are two by three, um, two of these at three and a quarter. I'm sorry, scratch. Three by four. There's two pieces of Whisper White, three by four. And then our Mango Melody is, um, four and a quarter by nine and three quarters, and we scored it at three, um, three and a quarter and six and a half. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be a pretty, um, pretty quick and easy Facebook Live, I think, tonight. We probably should have come up with a third card for us to do. All right, so we're going to burnish. I hope y'all are enjoying this, and um, I do. I absolutely enjoy this. My husband's always saying, what are you doing on Tuesday? I'm like, what do you think I'm doing on Tuesdays? It's Facebook Tuesday night. <laughs> so, um, anyways. All right. So, and if you all do not have a demonstrator and you would like to um, work with me, I would be more than happy to assist you if I can. And if you do have a demonstrator and you have questions and you're not able to reach them, I'm more than happy. It's, you know, that's what it's all about, trying to help each other. And do you not like the backside of this paper? 
this is um i think i can't is this the banana i can't remember if this is the bonanza buddies or whatever but it's got the cupcake i mean the ice cream cones i thought that was cute but since it's a birthday we're gonna go with because i thought this could be for an adult but i guess you could do the other ones for them too right okay so we're just gonna go ahead and attach this and we'll flip this over and attach it to our card base See how easy this is? I mean, it makes it so easy. And I love, I like cards that are easy, but look like you put a lot of work into them, you know? Okay, so now we will, I think I'm going to hold off. We don't want to attach that yet. Um, we'll do things a little different here. Let's go ahead and attach this to our Mango Melody. Now, this goes um, exactly side to side, and I'm going to leave a little bit at the bottom. And then I've already cut out my wish, um, so then we'll stamp all of that here in just a minute. So let me just put some adhesive on here. Do you like the camera up a little bit higher, or do you? Whoops, or do you like it a little bit lower? Let me know. I'm trying to try to make sure um, things are looking right, and I don't. I was when I was reviewing the editing the video, I noticed some of it got a little too close, and you couldn't hardly see everything. So, you know, it's always trial and error, right? And I never claim to be a, a somebody that's a perfectionist, that's for sure. And you know what? This one looks a little bit bigger for our gift card, doesn't it? Looks a little bit bigger. Oh, you know what I did? Oh, my goodness. You're not going to believe this. I just glued the whole thing down. That was dumb. We're not supposed to do that. So let me grab another piece of paper. Hold on one second. I can't believe I did that. I glued the whole thing not thinking. Let me grab a piece and we'll cut it. Well, it may not it may not match, but that's okay. We're gonna make it it all coordinate. So let's see what we got here. Um, oh wait, I do. I may have a piece. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's try that one more time. <laughs> see, that's always a comedy hour at the Duval household. Okay, so we're gonna cut this down. What did I say it was? Two. Well, the pocket is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we want to have. Four and a quarter going this way, right? And two and a quarter. Let's see, we want, yeah, we want four that way and two down. So let's do, let's do our four. It's going to be kind of crazy. Now let me cut two. Hang on a minute. Let me cut two inches, right? Is that what we need, the two? No, we need four that way. All right, let's do our four. About four that way. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, I'm looking at the, um, oh, two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Two and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we want four and a quarter. There's four and a quarter right there. All right, let's go ahead and cut that. And then this is gonna be two and a quarter. So let's go ahead and cut this down to two and a quarter right there. And I do have a little bit more. Gosh, I can't believe I did that stuff right on there telling you don't put glue on it, and that's what I did. But we'll save this piece for something else. We might be able to use that for something else later. Let me get that one out of the way. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully that doesn't, um, I may have to get a new piece of, yeah, let me get, uh, you know what? We're going to flip this around. I'm going to fix this. We're going to use this for our bottom to attach to the other card. See if this will work. Is that going to work? Yeah, that'll work, right? So we'll use that. So let's go ahead and glue him down here. Since that, we've got it. Um, see how you figure out and make mistakes and then you just work with it. So we're going to go ahead and attach this now that I messed it up. But look, it's going to work anyways. So good thing you saw me make the first card, huh? <laughs> so, all right, here we go. All right, so we're going to pop this one right on here. Make sure I got it going. Yep, it's got to open up the right way. And, of course, now i got glue on my fingers. Okay. And that's I really do like these colors together, though. It looks nice. Yep, look at that. We made that one work. Okay. So let's see if we can do this again without putting glue all over. All right, we're just going to put glue on the bottom. See, I was too busy talking, and I wasn't paying attention to just put a little bit of glue on the side so that we can get our gift card put in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up and I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit and it's gonna go side to side on the card, the Mango Melody. 
All right, there we go. So we fixed that part. Very good, okay. Now we're moving along. All right, we're gonna pull in our Memento Black and we're going to use the uh, saying from the stamp set, Broadway birthday, you're never too old to make a, and then we're gonna attach the word wish that we cut out using the die cutting machine. And you know, I'm sure y'all have heard, we've got a new die cutting machine coming out. But the bad thing, I shouldn't say bad, the downside is we might not, we won't be able to order it right away. It might not be till July, maybe August, but we'll, um, we'll know closer when we get there. Um, let me put this down because I think I got some glue on the paper. All right, so now we're going to stamp this. I'm going to stamp it at the top because I want to leave room to get my wish in there. All right, so we're just going to stamp this right about, uh, I love the photopolymer because you can see right through it. You can see exactly where you need to place your stuff, right? And then I usually just talk for a minute or two, just let it sit for a second, just so that the ink transfers over, all right? Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our word wish. Now it cuts it, whoops, see I already got some glue on it. Um, it cuts the uh, this part off, but then it gives us this little dot right here for to dot our eye, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, liquid glue, and this is what this stuff is good for, especially when you're doing um, words like this, letters, you know. So we'll get that, let's get it all on there, and then we'll go ahead and attach it. Whoops, I got a little bit too much on that one, I got a little heavy-handed. I might see some glue coming out. Let me take some of him off. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna put our W and get him going first. Let's see. I hope I didn't do it upside down. Nope. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the W. I'm going to put it a little bit at an angle just to make it look like it's fun. So we'll put him there. And then I should have brought my tweezers. I don't think I did. Then we're going to pull up the wish. And we're going to put that connecting him just about like that. I'll pull it down. There we go. There we go. All right. Whoops. Put that on there. And then I'm going to take just a little dab. It's not even enough probably to even see. I just want to put a little dot so I can stick my, um, there we go. I'm going to put the eye, the little dot for the eye on here. Let me get that off. Let's see if we can do this with my scissors since I didn't bring my uh, pick tool over here. All right, we'll get it. We will get it. Take just a second. Here we go. There we go, pop it right on there. There we go, let that sit. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a minute, let it dry. And then we're gonna do our other card and we're gonna stamp the um, my other two, which are happy birthday. And I stamped, let me see what I stamped that in. I stamped that in black and then I just colored, I made, um, what did I do with my candles? I had my candles and the, hang on a minute, I've lost my candles, I think. I've got my hat, and we're going to stamp some candles. I hope I didn't put them away somewhere. Maybe I did. We'll have to look and see. Let me see if I put my candles back in here. I might have done that in the stamp set. Where are my candles? Nope, they should be out on a block somewhere. Did I take them off somewhere and do something with them? All right, let me see. Well, if y'all see my candles, let me know. Well, maybe we won't do the candles. We'll just go with what we've got here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, um, we'll just stamp some hats. I had the candles, but I don't know what I did with them. All right, so we're going to stamp happy birthday. And I think I'm going to stamp that. I think I'll do it right in the center. Right about there. And I did that in memento black. Let's cover that up. Now, you know, I really um, get kind of an, um, not that I'm OCD, but I do get a little crazy when I can't find something that I'm looking for. And let me just make sure it's not attached to one of these other uh, stamping blocks that I had. All right, no problem. You know what we'll do? We're just gonna do a hat in, how about we do this? We'll do one in mango and we'll clean it. So this will, this will be fine. And then we're gonna do one on each side in Coastal Cabana. What do you think about that? So we'll put one there. We'll make it look festive. So instead of having candles, he's got party hats. There we go. So that fixed that one. 
close up our ink because I do not want to wear that. All right, and we are moving along here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and attach these now to the inside of our card and we'll pull out our liquid glue and we're going to attach this. And again, these are three, uh, what did I say, three by four? I'm seeing if y'all are paying attention or not. All right. And I will post the, um, to the file section of my uh, Facebook page, I will post the updated, cleaned up catalogs if you'd like, um, the retired list, I mean. So if you want to um, download it, you're more than welcome to. At least it might help you look at what's, because I think people are looking at it thinking things are retiring and they're not really retiring. So, okay, so we're going to add glue to our last um, piece of cardstock that's going to go on the front of our card. I'm sending my mother-in-law, she lives in an assisted living, and of course, you know, they're, they're stuck. They can't get out, and she um, sends birthday cards out to the kids and the grandkids. So, for Mother's Day, we're sending, I'm going to send her um, a stack of cards excuse me, that she can use to send out to um, the grandchildren or maybe, you know, her sister or some friends that she's just letting them know that she's thinking of them and stuff. So I thought that would be something nice for her since she can't get out and do anything. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and attach this to the front of our card, back to our glue. And the one thing I do like this about this glue, though, even though I say I don't like it, is um, I can get it all along the edges pretty good. And then, of course, I have to do my little squirrels, my little squirrely cues. All right, so here we go. We are going to pop that right on there. I love these colors. I really do. You never think to put a mango with um, Bermuda Bay, but I tell you what, that Bermuda Bay is one of my favorites. And uh, all right, there we go. There's our other birthday card. So there are our two cards that we made, Fun Fold gift cards. Not that you're going to be giving anybody a... Well, you could. You could give them this and they could say, Look, you get to go buy a new dog or a cat. Woohoo! No, we don't want to do that. So, but there the gift card does. It slides right on in there. All right. I hope you all have enjoyed these fun folds. And again, they're very simple to make. So, um, thank you again for watching. Make sure, if you don't mind, to share my video. I ask you this every week. Um, share my video. Make sure you leave me a comment. And, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all next Tuesday. Come back um, tomorrow and check my file section of my page, and I should have the uh, cleaned up versions of the retired list in there. And if you need anything, please reach out to me. And if you haven't signed up for my um, mailing list, I would love to have you on that. I send out updates on a weekly basis, and you get tutorials that are exclusive to my mailing list. And uh, just go to shallwestamp.com. That is my uh, blog. And you can sign up there. And when you sign up, you'll get a free one sheet wonder, which also shows you how to make a little box with some cards. So, all right, everyone. Thank you again so much. Um, Mary, if you will, um, t message me with your mailing address. And Nancy Jones, if you are on here or watch the replay, uh, your name was drawn for the week of the 14th, and if you will also leave me, hang on, I got a cough, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> uh, leave me um, your mess, uh, mailing address, I'll get your a little gift out to you. All right, everyone, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed these cards. If I can help with anything, let me know. Have a great week, stay safe, and always wash your hands, and that's one of the things that that uh, sunshine, it's called the su su some, something sunshine, that download of the set for um, the uh, corona, uh, COVID-19. Uh, one of the stamp sets is wash your face, wash your hands, <laughs> wash, your, wash your hands. So anyways, take a look at that. If you need anything, let me know and have a great evening and I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks again.